G'day guys, Carl from Evergo Travel. Today in the garage, got the Raptor, got Damo. What yep. are we doing today, mate? Uh, dual compressor. So, what do we got? We have picked up the factory Ford dual compressor made by ARB. That's the compressor. It comes with a fancy wiring harness, ready to roll, and it comes with a mounting plate specifically for the Ford, so it's all sort of measured up. Um, and then some braided lines and a chuck so we can install a, um, a air point in the back of the car. Where this goes? So in the back of the tub, the dual compressor, as you can see, these little four divots each side, that is actually pre-designed for this ARB bracket. So that bracket bolts in there, the compressor bolts on the inside of the tub, and then there is a little circle there for the air outlet, and you have a hidden dual compressor. So this should be pretty cool. That's how the plate sits. You can see we've got our 30mm hole for the air chuck there. The four dots that are indents on each side that are there are already perfectly aligned. So what we do is sink some holes in each of these, put the step bit in that, and uh, we are good to go. Plate's now mounted, chuck's mounted. We've actually got the braided line on the back of that chuck already hanging down. Now we're just going to lift the compressor into place and put the bolts through and hold her all in. All right, so what we've discovered is you have to actually put the airline on prior to mounting it, which is a little bit hard, but not the easiest thing we've ever done, but it ain't that bad. We are getting there though. One of the things in the ARV instructions is it tells you to remove the wheel. Ah, uh, don't it's do that. a waste of time. It's a waste of time. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that at all. They, look, what they do is they tell you to remove the wheel and pull out the inner guard that's up in and around there, which is a whole bunch of work, and then to slide the compressor up and over the arch. Not necessarily. Just get underneath it and lift the compressor directly straight up. All right, so we got the compressor plugged in. The earth point on the inside of the chassis with the spare removed. And now we're just gonna zip tie all this wiring harness up above the chassis rail out of the way and then we'll find our way back to the front of the car but it really is just plug and play i'll show you where it connects on the factory harness in the raptor with the switch panel which is over here at the back it's all actually laywood and quite easy to see which is good now this is obviously for our dual battery and this is dual midis for the arb compressor one thing i do like is the way that it's set up they've actually put like the 90 degree bend in it so without having to modify the flat but we've already modified that for the dual battery but just sits in there nicely midi's out of the way a little bit of excess wiring in this so we just tucked it out under the quarter panel but that is literally job done super tidy i do love the way the chuck just sits of course we've got to test it so we're going to drop a tire down to 15 and we will inflate it back up to 40 and see how long it takes us for those who don't know, that is the switch panel in the Raptor. So, being dual compressor, draws a lot of power, always obviously run your car. And then on. it is number four, auxiliary. She's run. That fires up the compressor. In the chuck she goes. Near the fire. She's on 15. We are 15, 14, right out. Right, the numbers speak themselves. Two minutes, 20 seconds for a 35 inch tire and 18 inch rim from 15 to 40 PSI. Jeez, that's some pressure in that. That's some pressure. That is quick. So I think that's pretty impressive. Do we have enough length on the hose? So obviously the further is tie away. And one thing to take into account is this is actually my hose, which is an old hose. <laughs> which we've shortened up a couple of times. And it has been forget. shortened a lot of times because we've blown it out a few times. Um, the new hoses are actually six meters long. This hose started life at five. But as you can see, that's definitely got easy enough reach to get to the furthest away tire, which means it'll reach the rest of the tires. Easy as. What do you reckon, bro? Oh, look, awesome. Super tidy installation. It was, what was it, 900 bucks, or just over 900 for the compressor, I paid some delivery. Um, super neat, super tidy. Probably the only thing, right, is that this is an ARB only connection. So you can't, like, you know, that connector, you can only have the ARB host set up. Maybe that's not a bad thing, but 
It works. And it is tidy. And it is tidy. The other thing that's worth mentioning is that this plate and compressor is actually a factory option. You'll get it much quicker if you go through the factory rather than actually go on an ARB. You'll get it for the same price. You can probably, because you're buying a bloody expensive car, you can get them to fit it for free. What are we looking at install from the factory? It's only a couple hundred bucks, isn't it? Oh, to, to get it installed at ARB or the factory, it was like an 11 or $1,200 option. And the price right? to parts? The, the actual parts I've paid with freight was a grand, you might as well say. So for 200 bucks, um, you know, you might as well just get someone else to do it. I think overall, you'd be hard pushed to find a better setup for the new Ranger, the new Raptor. The plate, you hardly know it's there. The way the chuck sits nice and clean, nice and tidy out of the way. I think it's good. I think it's a good get up. The thing I love about it is, it's just in dead space. <laughs> like, you are literally not gonna put anything in there. And it takes up no room. The wiring harness was actually perfect. In all honesty, with the Raptor, with the switch panel, it was too easy, it was almost hard, if that makes sense. <laughs> it, it was so easy to do that it actually got confusing because it felt like it should have been more difficult, but it really wasn't. <laughs> if you read the instructions, it's actually the, the instructions are a little bit confusing, actually. Just a heap of parts inside the kit that you don't even need if you're sticking it in and you've got the switch panel inside the car. Otherwise, really easy. Um, ARB's 100, and 100 plus step instructions, probably too much for what the job actually is. Like Damo said, the wiring, it is almost that easy that it makes it hard when you start reading the instructions. But the switch panel on these Raptors, unreal. The way the Ford's thought about where the wiring goes and the triggers go, it's perfect. You couldn't ask for anything better from that. Overall, I think it's an unreal bit of gear. And if you've got a new Ranger, new Raptor Ranger, this is a guy. You wouldn't find a better compressor, a better compressor setup the way that mounts. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Anything, feel free, comment them below. If you like the Raptor content, let us know. And until next time, go travel.